Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video about relationships in the Lord and how Satan will try to destroy your godly relationships, okay? What Satan does is he comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. So he comes to destroy everything good that you have in your life. If you have a godly relationship or if you're married and you're in the Lord and you're both in the Lord, you better believe that Satan's going to be coming after your marriage or after your friendship in the Lord and try to destroy it. I said in another video how Satan's a liar, okay? And he lies to us all the time, right? He will lie to us about other people as well to try to sow strife to try to cause division, to try to get you angry at the other person. All different types of things, you know? And we have to be aware that the demons in other people hate us. If you're a child of God and you have the Holy Spirit within you, okay, the demons in other people hate Jesus within you. And if, uh, if, you're fellowshipping with another person in there of God. Your demons hate them. Okay? So if your demons both hate each other, I mean, if you hate each other, the demons hate each other, right? They hate the person, okay? And, and they try to work together to destroy your relationship. You know? Because the demons can communicate with each other. They... they have been with you your whole life and they have been with the other person their whole life if they're familiar spirits and they know about you they know what hurts you and all this sort of stuff and they know your weaknesses okay so they can sow, sow lies into you about the other person and then you can start believing those lies and get angry at that person and the same thing can happen with them and then they get angry at you and then there's a contention and a strife. Now, the way to avoid this is humbleness and grace and love. That's how you can keep your relationships, you know. If you have enough humbleness and if you have enough love between each other and grace for each other, you know. Because pride is what causes the contention. Contention only comes by pride, right? But sometimes God will just remove people from you because they're not good for your walk. But there are good relationships that are of God, and, and I believe God has put them there, but, but Satan tries to destroy them. Now this is James 3, 14 to 18. But if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. So if you have bitter envying and strife, that doesn't come from above. That's earthly and sensual and devilish, you know, because peace comes from God, you know, even if you don't agree on everything with the other person, peace is a fruit of the spirit, the flesh is what is, you know, uh, what causes contention, not the spirit, you know, so I just wanted to talk about that, because if my demons hate the other person and their demons hate me. That's what I was trying to say before. 
Don't you think the demons wouldn't want us to be together because our prayers are more powerful together and and the godly relationship is good? I mean, God loves godly marriage. And Satan hate, hates godly marriage because godly marriage is a representation of the church and Jesus Christ. It's like the highest form of love. And Satan hates that. So the way to combat these things, if the other person wants to be your friend still or, or make it work, is to have enough grace for each other, have mercy for each other, and have love for each other. And humbleness, you know? Because pride comes by contention. But in the same way, if you're trying to make it work and the other person doesn't want it to work, how can it work? It can only work if the other person wants it to work and you want it to work as well. And sometimes it's just not good for your walk to keep the other person. If another person is constantly hurting you or, or hurting your walk, you know, and it's not uplifting you, you know, there's times where, where it's just not fruitful anymore and God doesn't want it, you know? So Satan will try to destroy your relationships. Be aware of that. I mean, the relationships that I had when I first came to God, I hardly, I don't really even speak to hardly any of them anymore, you know? But that could also just be because God didn't want them in my life anymore, you know? It's, it's just how it goes. Some people are there to teach you things and, and not to stay there for forever. That's why it's important to be knowing that God's the one that will never leave us. Even when other people let us down, God never does. Yes, we go through trials and sufferings and it's hard, but he's always with us if we're, with, if we're repentant and with him, you know? Okay. All right. Love you guys. Bye.